Hi, today I'm going to be unboxing the Bissell Clean View model 9595A. Uh, we got this vacuum cleaner to vacuum up uh, our carpets because our old vacuum cleaner died. Uh, we got it off of Amazon, got a pretty good price on it. I think it was $73. So let's go ahead and cut it open and we'll see what's inside. Instruction book. Uh, we got the little uh, upholstery attachment here. They call it a turbo brush. Uh, it's probably for the uh, electric cord. Line up. Another little utility brush. Uh, no idea what that is. Handle, some screws, let's see here, change this whole thing out. Clean your body, obviously. Uh, the hose here, little wand kind of do that. Let's see. I am going to whip out the instruction book and assemble this. Uh, I don't think it's too hard. It looks like it's just the handle with. Uh, two screws and a little hose and you're good to go. So I'll be back in a second. All right, I'm actually going to just uh, assemble this for you so you can see how simple it is. Uh, if you don't really care about that, you can skip ahead a little bit. So you just slide this handle in place and uh, came with these two screws here. Screwdriver. Uh, you just screw this in from the back. I think that's the only real assembly you're going to need here that is going to use tools. Turn this sideways so you can see the screws going. Pretty simple there. Another screw. So I think the whole assembly is going to take you probably about less than five minutes. I know this is boring. <laughs> Alright, the next part is the assembly hose. And uh, let's see here, this is going to plug in here. I read that part already. Let's see. Okay. This little thing goes here. Locks into place. And I think the thinking for that is it's going to hold your extension wand tool like so. There we go. And uh, this pops into here for your cord. Top part of your cord. Like that. This comes up and over here. And plugs in here like so. I can get it lined up properly. There we go. 
Simple as that. Uh, this little brush goes like that, I think. Yeah, there. Then this little guy, there's no place for storage for him, so he's going to be lonely. We're just going to put him off to the side. And I think this one comes with a 20, let's see, I don't even know how long, maybe 24 foot cord? 20 foot cord? I think it's 24 feet. Let's see. So I'm going to be like it. I hate, one thing I hate is uh, unplugging and replugging in vacuum cleaners. Uh, when it's ready to go, I don't want to have to mess with it again until I'm done. So we're going to give this thing a whirl. Try it out on the carpet in the bedroom, and uh, let you know how it goes. All right, I've gone ahead and plugged it in. Uh, this right here is for the uh, recline, and right here is where you turn it on. It's kind of a weird spot for a switch. You gotta bend over a little bit, and uh, there we go. That's uh, pretty much like a medium weight. Uh, Feel the bris bristles doing their job. It's powered bristles. Uh, anyways, I don't really want to bore you much uh, watching me vacuum. So I'm going to just do a little bit of this area here. And you can see there's already a bunch. Holy crap. There's already a bunch of stuff it's picked up. Uh, you can see this is about the area of our bedroom right here. Sorry for the mess, but I don't know how many square feet that is, but it's, it's pretty small. So we're just going to go ahead and vacuum the whole thing, and I'll show you how much uh, junk it gets out of the carpet. Now, most of our house is hardwood floors. We vacuum those just about every day. Uh, for the bedrooms, we vacuum them about once a week. And our old vacuum was just pretty much... Uh, on its last breath so we went ahead and got this one off of Amazon like I said I think it was $73 and uh, we'll see how it does I can tell already it's getting a heck of a lot more than our old vacuum ever did let's move this out of the way feels pretty lightweight Coasts around well. Uh, if you're not interested in watching me vacuum, you can just fast forward a little bit towards the end, and I'll show you how to remove the uh, canister there to empty it out. But uh, hopefully, I can make it all the way to the end of the be bedroom without having to empty it out. It's this is like ridiculous here how much stuff it's getting. <laughs> yeah, our old vacuum was a uh, canister vacuum. I never really liked it. I always grew up with one of these upright vacuums. Once we got married, we went to a canister vacuum because that's what my wife was used to. And uh, that one lasted pretty well. It lasted about seven years, but it had kind of just all the attachments and stuff were breaking down, cracked and all that, so it wasn't really... It was a couple weeks away from being unusable, so... Let's see... Yeah, I can tell this is going to work really well for us here. <laughs> Alright, almost done. Then we'll take a peek at uh, how much junk we got up. Now again, I mean, this room is probably... I don't know, 
12 by 14, we'll say. But uh, you can see the couch takes up a big area and so does the bed. So I mean, I'm going to guess it's less than 100 square feet. And we'll show you how much we got up. And you can kind of be the judge. Now let's uh, turn off here. Like I said, I really don't like where you turn it off, but uh, I guess you push this down to... Yeah, look at all that. I don't know if you can see that. That's insane. All right. This, is, this might be tricky to do with just one hand, but I'm gonna try it anyways. That is just disgusting. That's how much it got up in one week uh, compared to our old vacuum. So uh, I think I might need to take a shower after this video. That is just disgusting. Yeah, so well, there's still more in there. Obviously our old vacuum kind of wasn't really getting the job done there. Let's see, there's a huge clump that's stuck. That's the worst part of vacuuming is grabbing all that junk. Okay. There you have it. I like this one a lot. Uh, looks like there's some stuff up in the top. I don't know how to get that up, but yeah, I like this vacuum a lot. Let's see. This is the Bissell uh, Clean View Multisonic, uh, and this particular one is model 9595A. Uh, with what little I've used of it so far, I would give this vacuum uh, an A. Uh, obviously. Hopefully it's going to last us five plus years, time will tell, but uh, it does a way better job than our old canister vacuum, uh, so I think this one's a keeper. I'm really happy with it so far. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below, and if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.